Well, I collect caps. A lot of caps. The quantity and variation of cap design is essential. Mr. Skellington here took 13 different styles of white caps to complete. Deadpool required 14 different designs of red caps. And the Joker needed 15 distinct types of green caps for his hair alone. Different designs in the same color provide shading, so I sort caps by color and design. Now, reference to draw from and an 18 by 24 inch sketch pad is needed. First, I start by sketching lightly in pencil, and then follow up with a single bold ink outline. This gives me my blueprint, so to speak. Now I fill in the design with bottle caps, paint by number style. This lets me know if I have enough bottle caps and I'm out of black caps. Amber Bach to the rescue. Side note, Michelob, if you're watching, please don't ever change these caps. I've used them in every mosaic I've ever done. Now it's time to reveal the ace up my sleeve. Half caps. Half caps create detail in various ways. From creating straight lines, like this one bisecting Deathstroke, to creating teeth, demonstrated by Skeletor, to really subtle details like Hobbs' mouth, which can really accentuate a piece. First, I remove the whole caps with a toothpick, and then replace them with half caps, repeating this process as needed. Now I continue to experiment with half caps and different colors and designs. This may take a day. Or three. But will eventually pay off. Once I'm happy with the piece, I take a two foot by two foot by three quarter inch piece of plywood, paint it black, and obtain some three quarter inch wire nails. Now it's time to transfer caps from paper to plywood. Nailing down each cap row by row. This can be tedious, usually taking five to six hours, depending on the piece, but is absolutely worth it in the end. Now it's cutting time. I start by cutting away the bulk of the excess plywood with a jigsaw. Then use a band saw for the finer cut. At this point, all we lack are the finishing touches, which are sand it, sign it, and string it. Ladies and gentlemen, I humbly present to you Ghostface. And that, dear viewers, is how I make pop culture portraits with bottle caps. Very quickly, I'd like to answer a few of the questions most commonly asked. How many caps does it take? It varies, but the average piece usually takes about 250 caps. How long does it take? It varies greatly, but it's not unusual to have 30 to 40 hours in a piece. Do you do commission work? I do not. Not for the bottle cap pieces. <whistles> Only because of the quantity and the variation of caps required. Where do you get your caps? 99% of the caps used are graciously donated by family and friends, which I truly appreciate. I love creating these and could not do so without you. So thank you to all my contributors and thank you all for watching.